Hi everyone, this video deals only with the coursework taking you to this modules page. So in this video, I will slowly go through again how to set up this page and ensure that your modules are in the correct order. For more details on teacher help, go to start here and whatever it is at the top, getting started. All the details are in this second video, how to edit and change what can be changed. So. This is just the modules. This is included in that video, but I will show you how to make the necessary changes to this. You need to have your head around design tools. Again, this second video talks you through that. I'm going to assume you've watched that and are now back for more. You need to use design tools and you need to have enabled add advanced elements and the module list. Your module list won't have anything in it until you either add all modules or update module names. If you add all modules, then you will find that all of the modules available will be visible to the students. You will want to go through and decide which of these modules you do and don't want them to see by clicking on the eyeball. And you can see over here that it is doing that. The beauty of this page is that it will not only show only the modules that you want, without them having to go to the, I'll go over here and show you, to this module list where they get lost. This is the old way. All of this information is tidied up by going through here, only choosing what we want to do, and importantly choosing quick links all. You can display them in one column, two columns. Uh, we found limits in if you were, some of these are too long. I'll take that one out actually see if that makes a difference, then it won't necessarily be able to do three or four. But these are the modules I want to show my students, published or not. And these are the ones that will appear now on this page. They will appear nice and together. You can see I haven't published that one. Uh, and when they click on them, all the information is down below. That's why I clicked the quick links. That's what gives me this. If I don't quick, uh, click quick links, then it'll take me to the modules page and they'll be just as lost as they were before. You might want your class question board to be at the top. You might want it to be down the bottom. This to change the order of the modules, you do have to go back to the nuts and bolts modules page that we use to organize ourselves. So I put them in alphabetical order by dragging them. So if I drag them around and change the order, it will change the order. So I could just drag this all the way to the bottom or over here, I can move my module to the top or to the bottom, just like that. So now that it's in a different order, if I go back to my modules page, there's still another step to do because we all work in modules. We like working in modules, but when it comes to the student display, we will need to update this page. Fortunately, it's really easy to do. We'll go into design tools. And again, the other video shows you how to launch that automatically. Advanced elements, module list, update module names. Didn't work for me, so I did this trick. I think Amber used this one. I just turned it off and turned it on again. Classic IT crowd trick. Now I've got all in the right order with the class question board down the bottom, just like I had it in my behind the scenes module list. And that's the way that I want to. Again, the beauty of this is that our front page is now not cluttered with any modules of any kind. So this is what we want, a nice, clean front page. It's all the same for everyone. Nothing down here. And when we go to coursework, it's automatically set to take us to modules. Uh, initially, it only has that question board on there. But by using design tools, you can add the modules that you want, take away the modules that you don't want. And it's very clear to students where they should go but you will need to use the design tools, advanced, add advanced elements, module list to do this. You can also do this on other pages. If you want to create another page, you can call a page uh, over a, a topic, unit one, and there can be several modules to do with that. Just don't put it on the very front page, please. 